vlog putting my equipment away i just got done filming a video um yes i'm just gonna put this over here in the corner because i might film tomorrow again anyways um i haven't been using my ring light like at all to film um oh i'm sorry ruby yeah like it's really not a closet i've just been doing natural lighting um but yes guys it is september so happy september to everybody we are in a new month therefore it is time for new month activities yeah and i'm not even gonna say like oh i was just doing my august calendar because oh dang is my ipad dead wow <laughs> it is dead but let me let me go into the spa calendar because that is the priority right now i need to make sure things are just blocked and things are set because i do have an event this month let me see i think i already did my um yes yeah, so i already did my spa calendar which is great but i have an event coming up in like two weeks so i'm going to atlanta for an award with um six figure spa chick and her expo that she does there in atlanta um and i actually have to book the hotel that is the next thing on the agenda yeah, i think that i'm only i believe i'm only gonna stay there one night and i may just leave i don't know that i'm gonna stay for the entire event on saturday because friday is like the award ceremony like the gala you know that whole thing so i will be there that day and then i think saturday i may be there for like a little bit of the event but i'm not sure that i'm gonna stay for the whole event so i think so yeah pretty much i just need to do a hotel for friday night friday i feel like i just came back from atlanta like <laughs> i just came back from atlanta guys and here we go again the other big september news guys is that the trip is launching for greece i think i said this already on youtube did i not did i tell you guys that greece was the destination that we picked i don't even know guys um but yeah greece is the destination that we're doing for our trip next year um, so this is what the trip page looks like, but yes, we are going to Athens and Santorini um, So yeah, the trip includes both cities, which is so amazing because you kind of get like all in one and the dates are June 24th through June 30th 2025 I think we have a total of 20 spots available and eight Early bird spots. So the early bird you get like a discount and stuff and then we have the regular spots but anyways, guys, the trip launches on September the 20th at 12 p.m. Eastern time. So I will have that link down below in the description box. Go ahead and save the link if you are like, you know, ready and stuff. And if you want to see like what's included with the trip, like the itinerary, like, you know, just what are we doing over there? Pretty much everything is in that link. So y'all go check it out. I'm so excited. We've been in the works, honestly, since we've got back from Costa Rica, like, july is like when we started the whole planning process and we're like what two months later um you know i know i've been serving you guys like asking you guys like where do we want to go where do we want to go and like everybody was for a while we were at a tie between bali and greece and then this last round of surveys like i think a lot of people just wanted to do the greek islands and i'm excited i think that's actually a great like destination because it's not too too far like bali is far away you know and it's not too, too far. Like, it's still Europe, and it's in June. It's, like, Euro summer. I've never done that. I've done Europe, like, in other months, but I haven't done, like, the Euro summer thing. And Greece, I feel like, just gives girly. Like, it just gives us, I feel like, it's gonna give us. And, yeah, I already know, like, the girls from Costa Rica trip are, like, on board, you guys. So, I'm just ready to make the group even bigger. Like, meet new people. I'm telling you guys, like, once we went on that trip, like, those girls are, like, my friends now. Like, I don't even see them as, like, my subscribers or, like, people like that. Like, we're friends. We have our own little private chat. Like, we're literally, like, a whole new, like, girl chat. Like, you know, like, once I meet people in person, like, I know you in person. Like, I'm gonna keep up with you. I wanna know how your dog is doing. Like, how's your mom doing? Like... <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So um, I'm just excited to meet some new people, um, you know, meet some of you guys in person. That's kind of where I've been at with my social media career. I feel like I've been doing this for years and years. Like I've just been online and it's like now I'm kind of like getting into the point of like wanting to meet people. Like, you know, especially people that have been watching and supporting like for years and years. Like it's it's like so rewarding and doing something as amazing as like traveling with you guys. Like that's like a dream like that's crazy we're literally going on a trip together like how cool is that so yeah don't miss out guys like i said there's only 20 spots and i feel like this trip is gonna sell out 
pretty quick, honestly, because we have had a lot of survey results, like over 200 people like voted. And like I said, we already have the initial group of the Costa Rica girls that like most of them are on board for the next trip. So like that's already like half the people, like that's half the spots already. So don't wait, guys. Don't wait till the last minute. Um, if I do end up doing another trip, it'll be like 2026. And girl, that is so far from now. Like, I cannot even tell you if I'm doing that because I can't even commit to things like that far in advance. Like, who knows where we're going to be at in life. Um, but anyways, yeah, I still have a few things um to do here in the office. Yeah, like, lately I haven't been making my weekly menu that I used to do where I would put, like, Monday, I'm eating this, Tuesday. Like, that helps so much, you guys. I actually have to, like, do that. I mean, today is Tuesday, so I should sit down and just write what i'm gonna have for the rest of the week because it helps so much like i hate getting to this time of day like it's 4 p.m and i'm just not thinking about like oh what am i gonna defrost what am i gonna season today like you know it's just easy when you know and you like kind of have it ready in the beginning of the day so that helps so much you guys if you feel like cooking is so much work and stuff trust me try that just like plan out out like what you're gonna eat and it doesn't have to be super exact like oh rice this this like just you know maybe one thing and then you could just add your size like whatever you're in the mood for but it helps so much um i think i might end up having fish today bro it's been a good day i'm glad that i was able to film this video um, and like get this video in because that was actually very productive of me to do <laughs> yeah that was actually very productive of me to do I almost didn't but um, you know that's kind of what I'm trying to do like on my days where oh this this actually goes here yeah especially if I want to like stay consistent with the content like I said was my goal you know i know i had told you guys i was getting back consistent so i think that for my workout today i'm gonna dance instead of walk because that's a little faster and it just <laughs> you know i could just get a little more of an intense workout than walking so i'm gonna dance i'm gonna do like 20 minutes of that All right hey guys i am in the office today it is i'm gonna sit y'all right there um yeah today is thursday i cannot believe it's already thursday like what in life the whole going into the office today for some reason i was thinking it was like tuesday or something i'm like what tomorrow's already friday like we're already at the weekend i feel like this week has been it's just been a little strange i don't know i've been a little scattered to be honest and maybe that's why it feels like the days are just kind of going by because my agenda was a little bit scattered like <laughs> just sit you guys right there yeah i think overall like i was just a little bit scattered um this week oh oh this is my next client actually revita lux medical spa how can i help you okay um where are you around what do you see around you all the way down in that shopping center um yeah so just Mm hmm yeah just keep coming all the way around and then you'll see um we're just pretty much all the way at the end of the street okay all right we'll see you soon bye um what was i saying girl Ugh. yeah i just feel yeah my organization this week has not been on point um that's why i brought my ipad i have to i feel like i have to make like a to-do list or something for next week anyways today i'm in the office i'm kind of in and out and now my nurse is here <laughs> my nurse is here doing drips i'm doing um consultations and then i'm actually leaving after this one client that's coming in to run some errands and then coming back um so yeah i'm just kind of in and out of the office today um it's been busy guys so we're in september right so y'all know and you guys have heard me say this before like fall and winter is when it gets busy with iv hydration at least for me and i feel like i've heard it kind of overall like in the industry like fall and winter gets busy with iv hydration i mean every season has like its moment but the difference from like summer stuff and going into fall and winter i feel like it's a big difference um when it comes to like the flow and maybe it's just because you know summer are really on this client was literally so nice he was saying that he was looking forward to his appointment like all day i guess he was trying to get appointments and like we were booked out for like two weeks 
and he finally got his appointment. I'm actually about to go and have lunch with my fiance, so I'm gonna leave here, go have lunch. I'll probably be gone for about, let me see, I come back around three, so about an hour and a half. I have a quick errand that I need to go run uh, to go to UPS really quick and drop some things off. I'm gonna have lunch first, then go there, and then come back. Um, I forgot what I was even talking to you guys about earlier. Like I said, this week has just been a little bit scattered. Um, yeah, tomorrow I'm going to Charlotte. That's probably going to be in this vlog also. I may just make this vlog like the whole week, um, week's worth of stuff. But yeah, tomorrow I'm going to Charlotte with my sister. She's Well, we're going to a concert. She was going to go by herself. Like I was just going to go to Charlotte with her and then just kind of do my own thing. But I decided I was just going to go into the concert with her. So I ended up buying a ticket. <laughs> Um, it's like a rock band like it's just like a rock concert yeah, But yeah, instead of like roaming around Charlotte like by myself like at night, you know Unknown city like the whole thing just trying to find like something to do. I was like, you know what? I might as well just go inside the concert venue and like either I could just hang out at the concert or Just hang out at the venue, you know? Oh, yeah And really quickly guys while I'm here like at the spa and stuff I wanted to mention because I've been getting so many questions guys like DMs emails literally I just opened up an email and it was like the same question I've been getting which is when am I bringing back the classes? Like what is going on with the classes? Am I doing them again? So guys, I mentioned a few videos back all about my email list because my email list is where I'm updating more of like the business stuff. Like especially when it comes to like the IV hydration business class, coaching, like all that stuff. Um, I mentioned that. So if you're on the email list, you already got an email about like what's kind of in the works. But either way, I will mention it to you guys here. So next year, okay, number one, let me just say. So this year, I am on a break, guys. Like I said in a few videos ago when I did my the video of my last class, I, um, you know, I kind of mentioned like I just felt like I needed a break from the classes. Like I've been going hard for the past two years, like traveling, just doing a lot of things with, you know, with teaching and training. And I feel like I just needed a break. So right now for the rest of the year, I am on a break. I have a lot going on. Like I'm very busy also in my personal life. Like y'all know I'm getting married soon. So that is also taking up a lot of like my energy and time, you know, just planning all of that stuff. And you know, a honeymoon, like just the whole thing. For the rest of the year, I'm not doing anything with the courses. Now next year, yes, they are coming back guys. I'm actually working on an online course like a whole entire online academy almost where the course is gonna be available online. And throughout my trajectory of the IV Hydration Business course, I've done in different ways, right? I first started off by doing it in different cities and it's like, I was coming to you guys. Like I was coming to your area, like making myself accessible and that was working great. And then this year I was like, okay, now we're gonna do it here at my spa and I had people coming here. But now for next year, you know, just to, to maintain the, the changes and, you know, switch up the style, I'm doing the online course, which I feel like it's going to be very accessible for people that maybe missed out on a class that when it was like in your city or, you know, traveling here to Greenville is just like too much for you. I know, I know things happen, you know, there's kids and taking time off to like do a weekend here in Greenville, like that's a lot of commitment. So yeah, I'm hoping that with the online course, we can bridge the gaps of like the people that just have not been able to access the course that of course want to get the course and want to learn and eventually want to open up their IV hydration clinic. But yeah, guys that is what is in the works it's taking a while like it's a full-blown <laughs> online course I'm actually sitting down and recording like it's not um, well to give you like an idea of how it's gonna be it's gonna be different modules so like let's say module one is like introduction what is IV hydration da, da, da. and it's gonna be slides you know like my slides that I present in my current like live classes and then there's gonna be like a little you know in the little corner here it's gonna be me like actually talking through the slides so it's not just like online you know is i want to make it interactive like i still want to be there verbalizing things like giving tips like all this stuff um so yeah i have to sit down and like record pretty much the entire class right now um it is about 18 modules and every module is like anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour so imagine that's like almost over 20 hours of like content of education of resources like the whole thing 
Um, so yes, it is taking a while. I know I had, well, if you're in the email list, I know that I said it was going to launch early next year. So I, really, I was thinking January, February, but right now, guys, I'm not even giving a time frame because it is, it's taking a lot more than what I expected. Now, of course, I mean, I knew it was going to be a project that was going to take a while to like create, but because I have all this other stuff going on, like, you know, I have my own business, right? I have this, I have like a lot of things for the rest of the year. I can't sit down and just dedicate like time to recording the, the course, right? But all in all, guys, that is what is coming. So at some point next year, that course will launch and you guys will be able to do it at your own pace, at your own time, like in your own space, at home. And I'm still planning on offering, you know, it's still gonna be like one-on-one. -on -one. I don't want it to be like an online course and then you never get like, you know, you don't get like support from me and stuff. So there's gonna be things throughout the year. Like I may hold hands-on skills seminars. Like maybe twice a year, we'll do like an IV refresher course, like in person, you know, cause I know people, some people may still want the in-person stuff. Um, and of course, like the coaching calls, the group coaching, like all that stuff, I'm still gonna continue on to next year because I know that people like that one-on-one -on -one. like they I want people to have access to me is pretty much like what I'm trying to say like I don't want it to be like oh here's the course like you go on your own to like do this you know you still have access to like talk to me as you're in the process of opening your business but yeah I'm very excited y'all are actually the first to know other than the email list right because I haven't talked about this on social media um you know so y'all are the first to know just um you know I all I can say right now is just stay tuned you know for next year that's in the works um, so if you know you want to get like IV hydration training, you know, just be ready for what's coming next year. And with all that being said, right now what I'm also doing, because I'm on this break of like not teaching, I am starting to do like educational content over on TikTok. So I finally decided like, let me use this TikTok account for, you know, for something. Um, because I was noticing like I was getting a lot of new followers and a lot of the people were like interested in IV hydration So I was like, let me just dedicate TikTok entirely to like IV hydration business So that is pretty much the content that is over on my TikTok I'm trying to use every platform for like its own thing Y'all know YouTube is like my all-in-one like YouTube y'all are gonna get travel videos business videos me at home girl talks like You know cooking videos like everything is on YouTube YouTube is just like me as a whole Instagram is more like lifestyle for me now like you know I want to share my travel photos like a little more personal you know like I put like my dog on there you know just like things like that and then TikTok is going to be like just straight up education business like all about yeah just everything regarding like consulting training just my whole entire other business that has to do with training IV hydration right um, so yeah, go ahead and follow me there. Again, if you're interested in IV hydration business, I wanted to give that a space itself because I know that not everybody watching me wants to open an IV hydration clinic. You know what I'm saying? So I wanted to dedicate a platform for the people that do want that. And that way I'm not bombarding like YouTube and Instagram just all about IV hydration because, you know, not everybody is in this track. Like not everybody wants to do this business. But for the people that do, you know, I want to give you guys like a platform where you can go and like learn more about stuff. Um, so yeah, yeah, if you're interested in you know IV hydration stuff that is over on TikTok yeah I'm just creating more content and stuff like while I'm here at the spa you know just educational but yeah that is the quick update guys on what is coming up with training and stuff like I said for the rest of the year there is there's no classes right now I'm just way too busy to like but that's what's coming next year guys um and yeah y'all will hear me talk a little bit more about it you know as time goes on if you want to be the most updated i would say that the email list is where you know the first announcements and things are gonna go go and have lunch with bae you guys i got this new little bag i love it so much this is for travel i got a bunch of these like for travel i just this is my first time bringing it here I bought like a bunch of different little crossbody bags to go traveling you know like when i'm on vacation and stuff like this is what i like to wear but i wanted to test it out so i brought it here today and look how perfect like my whole kindle fits in here like all the essentials fit in here like kindle my little camera my phone wallet lip gloss like the basics so i wanted to bring it here but i'm gonna roll out um i am gonna leave my ipad here because i will be back um and we're just gonna go have lunch um I don't know where we're going. He sent me the address. He's like, meet me here. I'm like, okay. Okay, boy. I will meet you there. Oh, yeah. My key. <laughs> ah, that is the beauty of being a business owner. I will never take this for granted. Like, just being able to, like, roll out. 
have lunch with your man and come back to the office like how amazing is that? like that's like gosh like that is what makes life beautiful okay i already had lunch i already did all my errands yes i'm so glad i dropped those packages off they have been literally just driving around with me for a while um but yeah i'm about to head back to the spa to do these last few consults and then i will be going home um and pretty much i guess like figuring out my outfit and stuff for tomorrow and kind of like packing stuff i'm not sure if we're gonna stay in charlotte we're, we're still trying to decide um if we just want to like do the weekend there um and then after this weekend i'm actually going to atlanta that's gonna be like a separate video but next weekend i'm in atlanta for the weekend for an event so i kind of also need to gather stuff for that i already have my outfit so we need to get my nails done because this color this lady the lady at ups just complimented me on the color but i feel like i this was like a last minute thing that i did because i don't like the color that's under this so i actually painted on top of this like i have this neutral like almost grayish mauve color underneath it but liking that i feel like it looked so washed out it looked like i don't know it just was not the neutral i was trying to go for so i ended up just painting on top of it and this was like the color that i was like okay it's kind of like september like a little transitional but not my fave i want to do i'm really into like neutrals lately like with my nails like you know a nice like french or like some kind of like white design i don't know i'm just kind of like not into colors right now um yeah like i haven't been into colors i haven't been into designs shapes like none of that i feel like i just want like clean you know i just want like clean looking nails like you know just a nice color um but yeah probably next week i'm gonna go and get them done i'm not even sure i'm thinking i'll probably end up doing some type of neutral because like i said i have that event and then um but yeah, let's head on back to the spa. I was going to take a little walk. I'm actually parked at like a park right now because I love this little area, guys. Like this UPS is kind of like, you had to like walk to get to it. So I parked um, here at the park, like, you know, parking lot. But this area here is so nice. So this is like, this is not downtown. Like, what would you call this area? I don't know. But it's like a nice little area in Greenville. Like there's a lot of very nice apartments and townhomes. I didn't really see homes like because this is more like city, I guess. So all the like places I was seeing were like townhouses and like apartments, but they look so nice and everything here is like walkable. So it's like you park somewhere and then you can like walk to a restaurant, like walk to a shopping center. Like I love places where you can walk. Y'all know I love walking. Like you would think I'm like a city girl because I love just being able to like park and walk to different places. Like that's what I love about like when I travel to cities and stuff, like you could just hop on the train, like walk somewhere. Um, but yeah, I live more like in the suburban side of Greenville. So that's more so like, you know, your homes, like there's like, there's more like less apartments there and more like homes, farms, like, you know, it's just not a lot of like walking, like actually nowhere. Like you can't just park your car and go walk somewhere. But this little area was so nice. And since I was parked here, I was like, let me take a little like walk around the park. Um, the weather today is actually pretty nice. It is 80 now, but it was... It was basically in the high 70s, so that was nice. But I figured I'm just gonna go ahead and go to the spa and like finish up some things there. Um, you know, like organize some things, especially because tomorrow I'm gonna be gone and I'm gonna be, like I said, in Charlotte this weekend. So I kind of want to leave things organized there because I think I'm back at the spa. I won't be back until maybe Monday or Tuesday, so I want to leave, you know, to leave, you know, everybody organized and ready. Yeah, I love how I can literally sit this little camera down in so many different places. Like, I never use my, the actual, like, like, I never really use the tripod that comes with it unless I'm, like, actually sitting it down somewhere. But, like, it's so, like, flat. You could just sit it anywhere. Like, it's so convenient. It's making it so easy to vlog. This was, like, the best little purchase ever. I know um some somebody asked me, like, what camera I was using. And if you didn't see, like... If you didn't watch the vlog where I went and bought this new camera, I'm using the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. I've been using it for the past few videos and like I am so obsessed. Like I said, it's making vlogging so much easier. That's why I'm able to like be more, I guess just like a little more consistent with the vlogs and the, the footage and stuff because I don't have to carry around a big camera. So this is helping me so much as a content creator. Best purchase. I actually regret not buying the creator combo because they, 
um, the creator combo has like a microphone and other stuff and now it's like I want to add accessories to it um, so it's just gonna cost me a lot more to like individually buy stuff I could have just got the combo but yeah let me head back to the spa and let me see if I can show y'all a little bit of the streets here like I'm telling you it's such a cute little I mean the Very bows, co-cuts. Get into it. Hair. <laughs> and shirt. Relax, shut up. <laughs> and a shirt. And this is my look. She gave me this shirt because y'all know I don't really know who this um, band is, but <laughs> we just here. So I have the shirt and the skirt. Skirt with the boots. The boots are cute. The boots are cute. The These gave giving. the hair's giving. These shoes gave me a What's it called? The blister thing? And when I was in Tokyo, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Never forget that. Um, we're a little out of breath. No. <laughs> I was just about to say that. Like, why do I feel big right Yo. now? <laughs> Is it like, are we going uphill or something? <laughs> oh, you kind of are. Yeah, I was like, you know what? No outside lawn chairs. Ooh, chill. Now we gotta do limbo over here. Oh, well, you didn't bring a bag, right? That's the bag policy. See, this is what it's allowed. Small, non-clear wristlet. That's what I have. Mm -hmm. We've never been I here. Know. It's looking familiar. I think I came here with Mommy for the Pitbull concert. Oh, the Pitbull? I think so. The first, his first concert. They have you, not oh, they haven't. Oh, you would hear it. Oh, you think? Okay. Because I remember we walked a long way. Mm -hmm. And I think we had heels on that day. <laughs> Dude, the gravel is crazy. That's what I'm saying. Like, remember the days you would like come to concerts with heels on? Like, that's disgusting. Why? <laughs> no, that's actually crazy. Wait, crazy record me. work. This is the outfit. It's giving. It's giving thighs. <laughs> I said I don't know how you would get to this side. We're walking back because the <laughs> camera is not allowed. She got Zena. She really said, you need to take this back to your car. <laughs> <laughs> and I even read, like, you could bring... Um, yeah, it said, like, you can bring pocket-sized cameras in here. So I was like, girl, what are you talking about? I'm like, it said... The rule said you couldn't bring a camera without... I mean, with a detachable lens, which is not this one. But girl, you know, I was not about to argue. So I was like, okay. So we're walking back. I'm getting my steps. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Dang. You see? That's why you can't come in this way. They're a little aggressive out here. Y'all need to be worried about that weed. It's giving it. <laughs> like, no, the least of your because worries is a my little smell, camera. Yeah. She was like, you need to. It's not allowed. What did she say? It's not allowed. You need to take that. Girl, if you don't. But yeah, you should always look at the rules, like, which I did. Like I said, I even measured my bag to make sure. Um, but thankfully, I don't feel like we were that far away. To oh, be. Oh, they're gonna stop. <laughs> not, not second lanes is crazy. Yeah, so you could only bring like fanny packs and certain stuff. It's a little hat, man. Apologize for the change. Oh, and, uh, we 
got separated because I got my ticket mad late. Like her section was full. So I'm just going with the flow, guys. I'm in section 12. And we're just gonna chill back here till further notice. <laughs> Next song we're going to introduce a, a song called um, Kid Pachino. Yeah! Woo! 